What is up, people? Interwebs, internet, YouTube, everyone in this magical universe coming together on the interwebs. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day or fantastic night wherever you are. I always say that for people who know me and watch me on YouTube. So, um, I'm just gonna make this vlog. I don't know how quick it'll be. I don't know how long it'll take. I just hope that you guys will stay for the whole thing. Anyways, <laughs> um, something, something magical happened to me. Also very magical. After, uh, about four, five months at the most, at the least, maybe. I don't really know. I did not go to church. Something kind of told me. Dude, wake up. Get your lazy butt off your bed. Stop playing Call of Duty for five minutes. Go to church. So, <laughs> I don't just go to any church. I go to the one where my friends go to. I don't like any other church because I've never been to any other church, which I can't say I can't like it because I've never been there, but still. I like a church where I can talk to people where I know everybody, or at least a few people that I can talk to and get along with. So I went to church, you know, thinking to be like, okay. You know, I've, I, see, I saw people that I haven't seen in a while, and they were excited to see me, gave me hugs and stuff. Um, The church part from... Uh, 9.30 to like 11, right? The church part went as it usually does. You know, you sing, you do prayer, preach, and all that stuff. Um, which was, went, it went good. I mean, I sang a little bit, you know. My friends interrupted me a little bit, but that's fine. You know, they're, they're friends. They're, they're good people. It's, it's all good. No, but, uh, it was, it was a good morning. And, uh, Retarded pause. I apologize. I'm just. I just lost the train of thought. Um. So the church part went okay. By the way, I got my hair cut. I cut all my hair off again. Again. I don't really know why. It was after I went to church. Maybe it was a calling. I don't know. Um. After church, and I'm still wearing my polo. <laughs> Forgot the. Turtle, turtle. <laughs> what, what the turtle guy does. <laughs> anyway, oh my god, I I have problems. Um, after church, we went over to this dude's house that I know. We're we're decent friends. I mean, we all went like uh, me and my friend went to his house, which both of their both of them was my friend's friend and my friend is my, my his friend. We're all friends. <laughs> Basically, and, uh, and, um, we hang, we hung out at his house for three and a half, four hours, and, uh, then we went back, because this is the first time I went to youth group, that's right, first time, first time, for some reason, I thought there was an entire entirely different building that we go into for youth group like a whole bunch of people go there well uh it's not really true we use the same room that we uh do whatever in you can just kind of hang out in there or whatever but we use that room so i'll just kind of skip all the boring crap okay there is this guy his name is tyler Right, I'm not going to give out last names. Maybe you know him, maybe you know his story, maybe you saw him tell his story. He told his story about, uh, you know, his life from ninth grade until now. How he's struggled with drugs and alcohol, partying, just all the normal teenager stuff. I think he's like 21 now, or 26, something like that. 
I don't really. He, he doesn't look anything 26. He probably is 22, 23. I don't know anyways. He told that story. And, uh, you know, nine and a half times out of ten, I can relate to someone. No matter if I've been through their situation or not, I can just kind of imagine how my life would be if I was in their shoes. So his story inspired me. Like, pop, get closer to Jesus. Praise God, you know. <laughs> I'm not trying to preach to anybody. I'm just telling how my day went. At the same time, you know, I'm going to say a little something at the end. But anyways, after that, my buddy Clarence, he's an amazing person. He, he's been through a lot. He knows how to make you feel better. He follows God as best as he can. He knows his purpose on this earth. He treats his students like they're his family. He loves every one of his students. He shows that he cares. He helps everyone he can. Sorry if that was loud. I just hit my laptop like a retard. He's, he's an amazing person. But he gets up on stage. There's just a little stage. Little stage. He gets up on stage. He kind of goes after. He tells his he tells us that he's been through a lot and stuff. Like Tyler, he helps out Tyler. He met him like a month ago before that day, which was yesterday. Um. But yeah, at the very end, this is was insane. At the very end, this isn't what he said. I'm just trying to recreate it because I forget what he said. He was basically like. If you choose to follow God, if you want Him to come into your life, if you want a stronger relationship with God, I want you to stand up. Nobody stood up. I had this slight smile. Oh yeah, I longed to go with the uh, inspiring crap. It was so powerful. The, his preach, Tyler's story, Clarence's story, what Clarence talked about, was so powerful. It took every bit of willpower in my body to stop me from crying because it meant so much it was so powerful and even then a couple tears almost fell out of my eyes but I held it back it was insane anyways <laughs> he said that nobody stood up I had a slight smile I was like man I need to stand up right now something was telling me Zach get up Nothing's going to happen. Nothing bad's going to happen. Nobody's going to judge you. Get up. I'm just like, mm. I get nervous so quick when it ha when it's uh when it's me being the first person to do something. I sit there. There's a pause. He's like, he says something. I forget what he said. But he said, "If you want a strong relationship with God, I want you to stand up." And I slam my feet on the ground and I stand up with my head up high smiling with a big grin and he looks right at me but he was standing like a security guard because he's so cool he's the coolest person one of the coolest people I've ever known he stands there like a security guard I think he looks at me and then he looks straight again about a millisecond after I stand up about 15 other people stand up that is the first time ladies and gentlemen that I have ever been first at something especially something as serious as this more tears came to my eyes I still held them back but I was the first one to stand up and he said anybody everybody that stood up just now after this last song because there's another song I want you to come see me and talk about or talk to me or whatever so afterwards, I didn't really talk to him. I just kind of came up and be like, Hey, Clarence, can I have a hug? He's like, sure, buddy, man, come here. He gave me a bear hug. man. I, I haven't had a hug since I last saw my girlfriend, which was like a month ago. More, th more than a month ago. I don't even remember. That's how long it's been. I don't, I don't know, but I have bad memory anyways. And uh, he gave me a hug, and that was really comforting. He's such a good person. And then a couple people were talking about being baptized. I've always wanted to be baptized, but the thing is, if I got baptized, I feel like I can't mess up. I gotta be perfect. I gotta follow God. I gotta follow His rules. I gotta not be a bad person. 
even though in my head I know that God will forgive me no matter what because he's just he's awesome that's what he is his power is awesome he's such a good person he's such a good Holy Spirit Jesus is amazing and you know you know what I mean um, I know he'll forgive me but if I got baptized I feel like if I made the slightest mistake if I gave in to something whether it be sexual or what is it called peer pressure whether I gave in to something I don't even I don't know hey dude do a hundred in your truck <laughs> let's have a good time <laughs> do it do it do it do it do it I feel like if I mess up just that little bit he'll just throw shame on me shame on you shame on you Zach why did you do it why did you do it I feel like that's how it would be but in my head there's a small voice he's like dude all you gotta do is pray God will listen to you now this this video has been 11 minutes 10 seconds as of now I'll skip to that thing I, I was gonna talk to you guys about okay so Clarence during that time after Tyler's speech this is what he talked about just a small part of it though sorry um he said if you have a weak relationship with God right if you're having thing after thing after thing after thing after thing after thing thrown at you that is bad whether it's you forgot to do your homework on time you get yelled at you get grounded you lose your phone you break your phone you're not you're not allowed or you're you have the uh you don't have the ability to pay your car payment your phone bill you lose a best friend your mom dad anybody passes away you lose a friend a family member anything bad happens to you it's basically a sign that God is smacking you in the face repeatedly saying follow me let's be in a closer relationship if you follow me and get a closer relationship with me I will in return make your life more simple and better it doesn't mean it'll be perfect nobody's perfect it just means I'll help you get over that hump that you're stuck at that little arch in the ground that you can't cross over because you're stuck I will help you push over that hump and it's funny when he said that I started nodding because I understood I've had things happen in my life the past few days that are just complete crap okay my mood differs day to day I'll be extremely freaking happy one day and I'll be at the rock bottom depressed the next day along with that my mood is also based off of my girlfriend's mood if I'm extremely freaking happy I'm peeing my pants happy and she's extremely depressed because she didn't finish her homework one time or she's just having a bad day my mood will go from over 9,000 to like 200 that's not a bad thing it's showing that I care about my girlfriend that I love her to death I know how she's feeling I just want to help her but it also brings me down it's not a bad thing because I get over things pretty quickly depending on what they are but it shows me because she she is hitting humps all the time you know thrown into tidal waves of BS hitting her hitting her hitting her she I just feel bad for her man and I can't help her either that's the worst feeling in the world when you know you can't help someone but in this case it's okay because you know not everyone can help and that's completely understandable I understand that completely I just wanted to get this out to you guys I don't know if it sucks being preached to whatever I said hurt your feelings or whatever listen if you atheist I'm sorry for everything I said if you believe you will die be put in the ground you'll be reincarnated 
into a tree. That's cool. I don't judge people by their religion. That, to me, that's stupid. We're all equal. Our religion is our choice. If you want to judge someone by their religion, go ahead. That's your opinion. I don't really care. You judge me because I'm Christian? Okay. Cool. Good for you. Hope that makes you feel better. I, I really don't care. Uh, you know. But after uh, he explained that he will help you get over the humps, at that exact moment, I kind of felt relieved. Like, if I got closer to God this very second, I would have a happier life. Since yesterday, I've had a pretty good freaking life. I don't, I'm pretty sure it's going to go downhill. I can feel it, because it usually does. I'll have a couple days happy, a couple days down and crap. Today, I worked four hours at my job. I worked part-time. I love the four-hour shifts, ex especially when they're nighttime and I close. Um, my girlfriend was in a decent mood today. You know, she had her ups and downs. But it, she was in a decent mood, and we talked for like an hour tonight, which is good. We talked earlier. We texted periodically throughout the day. It was an overall good day, and I'm just happy. And I really do want to get closer to God. I want to make that leap into God's hands because everyone that I see, every single person that I see that is close to God, Clarence, wow. I don't know if this is selfish or not, but he has a lot of things that I don't. That's not, I don't want everything he has. He has everything that I've been wanting. And it's not, I don't want to, like, use God. I don't want to use him to get good things, great things. I just want to have a happier life. You know, I hate these humps. They suck. Everybody knows they suck. We've all been through them. I just want to have a happier life. And I might have to, you know, make a little bit of changes. But, you know, following God is the easiest thing you can do. And he can help. He can, he can do amazing things. Enough with that rant. I just want to tell you guys about that. It was a really good day. At the end, we had this burning where everybody puts something in a suitcase, whether it's a piece of paper with whatever it's written on it. I did that. I didn't put it in the suitcase. I burned it when we burned everything. But you write down something that's been keeping you from either God or being happy, and you burn it. It's gone forever, or at least it helps you stay away from it. And I threw something in too. And it, that was a big relief too as well so thanks for hearing me I hope this uploads I'm at 18 minutes now and 5 seconds as I'm out and if it's daytime where you are I hope you have an amazing day if it's nighttime where you are I hope you sleep good and have an amazing night and wake up refreshed and ready to go and like always guys keep on gaming and uh, God bless y'all have a nice day or night <laughs>